Welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware and this is Bill Fogarty. We haven't had Bill with us in a while. Bill is over our valve shop. Bill, today we're gonna talk, I think we wanna just clear up some things here. We've got three things. Recertification, repair, and test. Those are the words that are out there. And there's some things that are not supposed to be said, right? Um, that people think that they should be doing. So what we like to do is just go over what are the different, the, the, the three words, yep. test, repair, recertification, and then let's talk about the one that's really not supposed to be there. Okay? All, right. All right, let's do that. <laughs> so, um, you know, our customers, uh, they're, uh, they'll have a schedule for inspection of safety valves or on their boiler, the PM on the boiler, uh -huh. annual inspection, and they'll need to get their safety valve serviced, okay? And, uh, you know, the inspector may say, send them off, get them serviced, get them recertified, right. okay? And the, the difficulty comes in is that there's really no recertification of a used safety valve. Okay. okay? Yep. Um, and so it's a little bit of a misnomer. So what we want to do today is clear up what you, can you do to these valves, what's okay. allowed. Yep. So the first thing is a, is a test only. And uh, we would get this valve in from the customer. This one happens to be a boiler valve. It's set at 200 PSI. Okay. So all we're gonna do for a test only is we're gonna fill out a valve repair and test report. Okay. And basically that gets all the information off the valve and any previous repairs, and we note that down. Then we'll take this valve and we'll put it on our steam stand. And we'll do initial two or three pops and let it soak in, build the heat up in it so it performs properly. And all, you know, after two or three pops, all the parts will be aligned. And then we'll come back and we'll begin to lift the valve again. Okay. Okay. And what we're looking for is three consecutive lifts within a set pressure tolerance. Okay. So the set pressure tolerance on this valve is plus or minus 3% or 6 PSI. Right. So if this lifts three times consecutively anywhere from 194 to 206, uh -huh. it's a good valve in terms of its uh, performance for lifting. Okay. Then what we'll do is we'll drop the pressure back down and we'll bring it up to 90% of set pressure. Uh -huh. And what we're doing there is we're looking for leakage. Okay. And we'll pass a cold metal rod in front of it, look for condensation on that rod, uh -huh. and if there is none, there's no leakage. Okay. So then we take the valve off the stand, let it cool down, complete our paperwork, and we'll put a test only tag, that's basically what this oh, is. Oh, okay, yep. And what it does is it denotes that the valve was just tested and the date it was tested and who did it. Okay. So by test only, all we're doing is perform, uh, uh, verifying that the valve would lift and after it lifted, it didn't leak. Okay. It's gonna come back to you looking just like it did when it left with the exception it'll have Where's a tag. It has the it. tag. Because we haven't really done anything more than that. Okay, okay. Now, is this something that, um, the owner is just saying, hey, I just want to test my valves today, my relief valves today, or is it something that he needs to be doing all the time, or what, what is the, it's the up to the that? It's up, up to the uh, owner okay. to determine the frequency, working with his inspectors and you know the guidelines within the company itself. Um, typically on boiler valves, uh, you know, it's an annual inspection, and generally they want them serviced annually. The kind of the default position where you can't go wrong is to repair it. Okay. We'll do it because that's the highest level of service you can okay. offer. And some customers say, no, we'll test them this year and we'll repair them next year. Okay. We, we don't necessarily recommend that, but it's, it's up to the customer, it's up to the owner to determine. Right, right. And you're but, and really in this test, I mean, you're really trying to make sure that this valve is going to lift. Yes. Because this is the last defense on that boiler that is gonna keep that thing from, from going. It, it'll right? keep it from being in the parking lot. That's right, yep. okay. Yeah. All right, so very important, okay. So if we repair the valve, um, the customer says we want it repaired, what we do is we fully disassemble the valve into all its component pieces, which I've got laid out here. Mm -hmm. um, we go through a process of inspection where we'll look for pitting, we'll look for um, corrosion, erosion, uh, mm -hmm. galling of the parts. Mm -hmm. uh, there are critical dimensions, like this is a nozzle. We'll, me we'll measure the nozzle height to make sure it's, at, it's not below minimum. Okay. There's a nozzle step here. So there's a whole bunch of critical, what they call referred to as critical dimensions. The manufacturers established that's, that dictate whether this valve will work or not. Okay. And we're allowed to do some machining, like if this nozzle step wasn't at the correct height, we would machine that down, but we can only do it to a limit. Okay. Once we reach that limit, we have to re replace the part. 
Okay. A spring like this, we have to verify that that's the right spring. That spring may only have a 10, p 10 pound range. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. we've got to verify that's the right spring. If we can't find a color, some, some are done by color, or a part number on the spring, we have to replace it. We don't have a choice because we really don't know what spring it is. Okay. So the, the process we go through by doing all those things returns it back to the original condition, the original design of the manufacturer. Okay. We assemble it. Uh, we take it to the test stand and do the same process of testing that we did with this valve, three mm -hmm. consecutive pops, mm -hmm. make sure it doesn't leak at 90% of set pressure. And then we can put a repair tag okay. on it. And on the repair tag, if it's coated valve, it'll have a VR stamp on it. Okay. So we're issued a, a stamp by, it belongs to the National Board. This is actually the stamp um, that we're allowed to stamp their, the VR stamp on this repair nameplate. Now, in order to have that stamp, every three years, we have to demonstrate that we have the quality uh, procedures in place, right. that people are trained, we have all the critical dimensions, we have all the gauges. And so it's a pretty arduous process. Sure. But that ensures that when that stamp is on there, your inspector goes, okay, this has been taken back to a like new condition. Okay. So that's the highest level of repair, of service that we can do on a valve. So in summary, we have a test only, yep. which just verifies set pressure and it's not leaking. Uh -huh. And we have a repair. Okay. Now, anymore, a lot of the manufacturers are putting elastomeric uh, you know, uh, O-rings uh, in the disc, in the, in the seating surfaces, mm -hmm. and some of them do it underneath the, where the nozzle threads into the valve. Uh -huh. And after a while, those two or three years, that, that's gonna give way. It's gonna harden up, particularly in steam service, and the valve will start leaking. So there's a limit to when, particularly if it's got elastomeric parts in it, yep. you don't want to wait five years to repair it. Because right. you're going to come in one day and go, the safety valve's leaking, nothing happened overnight. Well, yep. probably the O-ring just let loose. Just let loose. Yeah. Now, do you have to have a VR to do the repair, or are there shops out there that actually do repair and don't have a VR? Well, there, there are probably some shops that do it. Uh, for the most, point, most part, inspectors won't accept or customers won't expect, accept right. a repair that doesn't have a VR stamp. So very important to make it's sure that your important. valve shop that you use um, would have a VR. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, okay. um, so in, in summary, we, there, we, we get um, questions all the time. We, you, we just want it recertified. And when, oh, when okay. a customer says that, we really don't know what that means. Because we only talk in the language of tests only or repair. Okay. And that's, that's so there's there's no other tag that says recertification, no. nothing like that. It is no. a test or repair. repair. So that's great, it. great information. Clear it up. Heck, it's going to clear things up even in our company because, mm -hmm. you know, you got a new sales guy or a new service tech or something that's out there and may say something that actually just heard the term recertify and they say it. And now the customer's thinking we recertify when we really should be talking about test and repair. Right. Awesome. Appreciate the info. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Bill hanging out with us today. Some super information on tests and repair of those safety valves. Um, if uh, We would love to have your business, obviously. But if you do use another company, make sure that that company has that VR that we were talking about. Now, hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving. Hopefully you sat around, got nice and fat. I know that I am getting out there a little bit. Hope you had a good time uh, with your family. So like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, please share those videos and check out all of our content that we have. Steam Cultures, Weekly Boiler Tips, and of course, The Boiling Points. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.